What's up guys, first vlog. Um, and I think it's a pretty good one. Cause we're gonna be watching Roger Waters today. I'm here with my girl and my mom. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys once again when we get inside. Just drove two and a half hours for this, so uh, should be a good one, hopefully. We're inside now and getting ready for this concert. Man, it's pretty packed in here. Got a lot of different people, a lot of different fans in here. I'm excited, man. I've never seen any member of Pink Floyd. I've only seen cover bands. So this is gonna be a great time. I'm getting a drink right now. Getting ready for the show it starts in about 15, 10 minutes or so. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit with the concert footage. Hopefully, I can get some. They said no filming, so we'll see. All right, we got some pretty good seats. Honestly, not as packed as I thought it would be. There's a lot of people dancing over there. Look like over there. But this is the perfect seating because we're kind of perpendicular to the stage and we get to see the whole stage pretty much. The show's about to start in 10 minutes so let's go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Before it does, two public announcements. Firstly, out of consideration for your fellow patrons, please turn off your cell phones. And secondly, if you're one of those, I love Pink Floyd, but I can't stand Roger's politics, people, you might do well.
taking a little intermission. It's been a fantastic concert, amazing. Our seats are great. You guys see the footage, it sounds phenomenal. It's loud as hell. It's incredibly loud. I wish I had some earplugs, but this is amazing. I'm loving it. We're about to get another drink and go back in.
Damn, I wanted to make this video yesterday, right after the concert, and give you guys a roundup of everything, but I was way too tired. I had to drive two and a half hours there, and then two and a half hours back. Ended up getting home at like two, two o'clock, I think, two a.m. And have work today. So luckily I work from home, so not too bad, but dude, an incredible, amazing concert. It is insane to me that Roger Waters is like 78 and still putting on a crazy show like that. It was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. The production value and just the sound, the stage set up with the, with the like cross screen and a lot of cool sound effects. Most of the most of the music was coming from the center where the stage was, and then the sound effects was coming were coming from behind us. We're incredibly loud, honestly. I really do need to invest in some earplugs because um, I do want to save my hearing. Because uh, as a musician and an engineer, that is one of the most important things to me. So definitely have to conserve that at a young age. So when I get older, hopefully it doesn't get too bad and get tinnitus and stuff like that so but yeah it was incredibly loud but an amazing concert nonetheless his message you know is something very special i like the, the fact that he uses his platform to spread his i guess humanitarian message and a lot of people get mad a lot of people disagree but it is what it is man and i feel like if you're anyone that cares about human rights in general, I, I don't see how you can disagree with his message. And like I said, I just like the fact that he uses his platform to really make that clear, very clear cut, you know? And he criticizes both sides of the spectrum. That's all I'm gonna say. And if you get mad at that, ah, you might be the problem, honestly. But if you guys have not seen Roger Waters live, I highly recommend it. But um, yeah, an incredible show, man. Next time he goes on tour, you will catch me out there once again. Hopefully Dave Gilmore goes on tour one last time, man, because that's who I really want to see. Um, you know, he's my, my hero when learning the guitar. So I do want to see him live, but Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, man. I'm not really used to this. I've never done a vlog before. So, you know, it was kind of, I didn't really know what to say or how to act. But hopefully, you know, it was a little, it was, a, it was sort of cool. So I'll keep doing these vlogs anytime I go to a show, whether it be, you know, a massive arena show or like a local show. Like yesterday, or two days ago, actually, we went to Candlelight a candlelight show, which is like the, um, where they have all the, all the candles on the floor and it's like, um, a string quartet and it was a queen tribute. So that was fantastic as well. I couldn't record there. They only let us record one song. So it wasn't even worth it to do a vlog. But then the week before that, I went to Brit Floyd, seen them three times now. And that was amazing as well. Definitely not to the level of Roger Waters, obviously, as you would expect, but I should have vlogged that one, it would have been cool. However, I feel like this is a great first vlog to start with and I'm looking forward to all the many more vlogs. The reason why I'm doing this is one, to kind of give you guys a little bit more content and you know show you guys what I, what I like to go to and the, the types of shows that I frequent. And also as like a little memory, you know, cause then I can look back on these videos years later and it's not just your standard iPhone footage. I mean, it is iPhone footage, but it's not your just standard, you know, show recording, right? And um, yeah, it was incredible, man. I'm so glad I went to that. And this is gonna be a great first vlog. So hope you guys enjoyed, man. This has been Samurai once again. Arigato and sayonara.